Today we're looking at a very simple and quick way to produce some engineering calculations that you can put into your calculation report or your submission straight from a Rhino model. Now this is an architectural model but I've drawn some structure in on another layer so if I turn the roof off you can see I've drawn some beam, beams in, some lines for beams. Now all I need to do is select the beam I want to design and the structure either side of it. It's going to work out the load width automatically and it's going to do a calculation sheet for me. And you can see a 200 UB 25 isn't enough for deflection. It's just barely bringing it in in strength. So I probably need a 310 and that's working. And then you can just print out to a PDF and put it into your report. Now how about we choose a bigger beam for a larger span. This one for example, it's got a lot of secondary beams coming into it. So if I select that one and then for the structure either side, it's going to be these two other beams here. So you can see it's worked out a load width, so it's taking all that load onto this one beam and you can see the span is 10.7 so it's quite a long way and bear in mind this is a simple calculation it's not composite at this stage so let's see if we can even get any beam to work at that span 530 is not quite doing it the, light, the thinnest uh, the uh, lightest 610 almost there so we can get a 610 UB to work for that one, non-composite. Now this is the roof as well, so it won't be composite normally anyway, unless they've got a concrete uh, roof. So there we go, I've just done that calculation. Now another case you might want to do is an edge case. So this edge beam for example, so if I set that beam there, and here the next structure is only one beam because there's nothing on the other side. So you can see it works out that half that load from this span is going into that edge beam but nothing more. And this is where you might want to use the dead plus and live plus because this beam for example might have that facade panel hanging from it which is often the case for these type of buildings. So I want to put an additional 3 kilonewton per meter on that beam. So you can see it adds those up. It's got the load times the width. So in this case only 0.9. So 1.8 total plus 3 plus the self weight of the beam which updates as you change the beam. So your total dead is 5.7 and your total live is 1.8. And you can see a 530 UB is easily doing that. So let's go down to a 200 UB. That's the heaviest one. Probably won't use that. What about a 310? Yeah, that works. You can see I've still got the span over limit of 300. I might want to change that because this is a f um, carrying facade. So say I want a span over limit of uh, 500, which is pretty high. You can see um, that line moves up to suit. So now I'm only allowed 15 mil based on that span limit. Or I can change the hard limit as well. So I say the span over limit is telling me 15 mil, but I, I really only want 10 mil max. So that's going to mean I'm going to need a much bigger beam, say so 410 to get 
to achieve that. And under those conditions, obviously, the strength is easily satisfied. Now you might have noticed with bending, this is to Australian standards. If you're interested in getting something like this for another country standard, uh, just contact us. We'll be happy to change it to suit. Uh, you'll also notice that it's currently got a manual Alpha S for those who do know the Australian standard. The, this is an early version, but uh, I will be putting LE over RY and a calculation of Alpha S in there as well. And then finally, a very useful part of the calculation is the reactions. So you've got your dead live, service and ultimate case. And that's the point load that happens at the end of the beams. So if you do have a transfer beam, you can just find these numbers in that, this calculation sheet and plug it into the next beam. And the last thing it shows is the beam size it's adopted. So let us know what you think about this workflow possibility. Obviously this is just for simply supported beams at the moment, but you could obviously code one of these calc sheets up for any other beam type or columns, composite beams, etc. The advantage is it's really quick because you can just grab beams straight from the model and it, you automatically got your span and you can set up your loads very easily. And the other possibility is to have this in Revit rather than Rhino. So it'd be interesting to see if there's any comments about which program would be best for this or any other suggestions. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful, and we'll see you in the next one.